Okay, folks, we're back to work on tag number three, and this is the oval one in your kit. And here's a little up close view of of that. And she pretty with all the layers. Okay, so in your kit, you will have this is a Tim Holtz oval die, and. We're using, once again, the springtime paper that's already been cut for you. So those two pieces will be glued together. You'll have a small little oval die that was cut from um, Tim's as well with the paper on top. You will have a scallop piece. You'll have a Meyer Road birdcage. Really cute. Love these guys. They come in a package like this and there's three different sizes in here so um, depending upon your kit you may get um, any one of the three and this is the one we'll be using today. Two stick pins and these are Maya Road um, Pearl Antique Pearl stick pins. Love these guys as well and this stuff is all available at Eclectic Paper Race so if you feel like you would get, like to get some more of these please um, Go on the line and go go on the line. Go online and you can purchase them. Sounded like my dad there for a minute. And then this is the bottle cap. You'll receive the die cut. This is the um, chipboard piece and then the, the paper that goes on top of that. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to glue all of um, the ovals onto the bases and then the bottle cap onto the base as well. My bird cage, I did use the distress stain to color the bird cage white. You can use anything white. You can use stickles if you'd like um, to try and color it. I just wanted to bring the tone down a little bit, so I just I just ran over it a little bit with the white distress stain. And that was pretty quick and easy. So if you have any white paint at home or you can leave it alone if you'd like, you don't need to you don't need to color it. Okay, you'll also receive in your kit, this is love this stuff. Um, this is from Melissa Francis as well, and this is her trim. Love this trim. It's it's actually elastic, so it stretches a little bit. And I love this because you can actually, if you wanted to, you could roll it up and you can make um, flowers out of it. So I love this stuff. It's also available on Eclectic Paper if you'd like to pick some up. But we're going to be using it for the outside of our tag. You can see on the back of it that I've glued some of it down there to give it that nice um, pretty edge. Okay? Alright, so let's start. What I'd like you to do is I would like you first to adhere all of your paper to your chipboard pieces and then you can put that aside and you're also going to grab some more of your paper in your kit and this is the Mayflower paper and you're going to be trimming out this little bird guy right here, this one here and then this little single bird over here and I'm going to pull that up nice and close so that you can see it and there'll be a still shot of you um, for you to to cut out as well so you don't have to refer back to the video all the time but you can see the the pen outline mark there that I made for what you're cutting out up in the corner here as well see that little cute little face up there that's going on your remaining you'll have a little remaining um, frame and the kit that you've received we used one already and then this is the second one and this little guy is going to fit her face is going to fit right in there you can see see that that's where it goes right there okay so once again you can trace around that I did a big oval so I could trace it down a little so I could cut it down a little easier when I got it on the frame either way is totally fine so that's the paper, the additional paper that you're going to be using in your kit. Okay, so cut these um, 
birds and leaves out. Cut that little girl out and come on back and we'll assemble everything and put it together. Let's start putting this this tag together here. And I started gluing a little bit of the trim on the back of the tag and I wanted to show you how I did that. So you'll see that you have a a smaller piece that we're going to put on front of the card. But for the time being, I wanted you to put this small piece on top of the larger tag on the back of it and just draw a small little pencil line around it. Small, small little pencil line. Okay, just so that you have a guideline for gluing the lace on. Okay? So, see that a little bit closer. There's my guideline drawn all the way around. And what I want you to do is, when we're gluing the trim on, I want you to keep the edge of the trim, the inside edge, along the line that you've just drawn. So you don't want to do the outside edge. You want to do that inside, that last line. See those three lines there? One, two, three. Keep that last third line on the inside edge of this oval going all the way around. And that way everything will be nice and even on the outside for your trim. And it won't be all, you know, going in and out and all crazy. Okay? So that's the line that I'm going to follow. And you can make sure that your trim is all, you know, these little pieces are all cut. And you want to make sure that they're all sticking out nicely and they're not going to get stuck stuck in the glue. Okay? And I used hot glue for this. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. So I'm going to run a bead of glue all along the inside edge there. I don't know if you can see it. So it's all along the inside edge. And then I'm just going to follow that line. Do not stretch it because it does stretch. Don't stretch it. Okay, so see how I'm following the line all the way around? And that way, on the outside, it's going to stay nice and even and it's not going to be all crazy. Okay? So continue that all the way around. Okay, when you get to the end, you just clip it off, and you'll have probably have a little bit left over. So I just clipped it off there. And you have a nice trim all the way around the outside. Now, if you want to, you could pull the trim back. Pull the trim back and add some more glue just on the outside edge just to hold just to hold that trim from flopping back and forth all the way around. So I put the glue there and then just let it fall. Okay, and that will keep it from, see how this side is falling back a little bit? That'll keep it from falling, falling back. Okay, you can do that all the way around. I'm not going to take the time to do all of it, but I'll show you one more time. So right around the edge there, I just put a little 
just a little bead of glue. Fix the trim nicely so it stays nice, it goes nice and flat. And then I just gave a little press. Okay? And that kind of holds it. See how the side's flopping down a little bit? That holds it from doing that. Okay? And there you go. You have a nicely trimmed out card with lace all around the edge. Very pretty. Okay, so let's put our remaining pieces together here. So we're going to start with our scalloped piece. And I did put a little bit of foam tape on the back. You don't have to if you don't want to. I like lots of layers to my pieces, as you can see. And if I'm not using chipboard, I'm using foam tape. So I think it's a lot of fun to use. Gives a piece of nice dimension. And I'm just going to layer that right in the center. Okay. The next one is the chipboard piece, your smaller chipboard piece. And you can ink these as well before you before you put them on. I did not ink mine this time. So put a little bit of glue and layer that down right in the center of the scallop. Okay. Now the next piece that's going on is the bird cage. And I put this off to the side. So you can see that the center point right there is just off the side a little bit. You can use hot glue for this. You can use your zip dry and just glue this guy down. Okay, so he's sitting off to the side there. And don't worry about that glue in the center. The, the bird's going to cover that in about a second. Okay, your next piece is the Tim Holtz bottle cap. And I stuck that one off to the side as well. So you can put that guy down. Okay. Now here's my little my little girl that I already glued in there. You can see the back. I cut her out and I glued her on just like the last time. And she's gonna sit. Oops, she's going to sit right on top, like so. Glue her down. Okay, and then here are the bird pieces that I cut out. Okay, there's one, and then there's the other, the other little guy there. Okay, now one final cut. I did take this section out, this section, this section out of the original and then that, the blue section as well. So what I did on the top here, I figured I'd show you this on camera. I cut around the flower And I cut down. And this is going to get tricky because you don't want to cut the stem. So be careful of that. Because now we're going to go in and we're going to cut around this leaf here. So basically what I did was I took all of that blue section out. And you want to be really careful not at this point not to cut that small little skinny stem. And if you do, it's not a big deal because we can always glue it back together. 
Okay, so there it is all cut out. And this is going to sit right on top. And once again, if you want to manipulate your leaves a little bit, and your flowers. And when I glued this down, I just glued the bird down so that the rest of it was a little bit free. And I sat the, the bird right at the bottom there. Okay. So there's that little birdie. This guy here, I kind of played with his wings a little bit and manipulate the paper just to make it look like he was kind of like flying. And I sat him at the top. Glue him down. Okay, and now we're just going to add on our fun little accessories. And we're also going to cut out the word violet from that paper that we've been cutting our banners out from. So here's that paper again. And this time I cut out violet. And I used the bottom. It was easier to cut out, so I used the bottom one down here. But it's going to be the same thing. Cut across. And I know you have a butterfly there to kind of deal with. That's all right, we'll take care of that in a second. I just want to straighten this out a little bit. Straighten this out. And kind of determine where it's going to go and how long you want it to be. And trim that off. Okay, so I'm going to finish our little banner here. And this time on this banner, you can see that I, instead of making the banner edge, I just kind of cut the edges off because of the butterfly showing there. So I just gave it a little edge like that this time. And once again, I curled it with my fingers and that's where this one's going to sit right there okay we'll glue that that one down and then we're going to add a few little stick pins and some pearls and we're just about all set folks on number three okay that one's setting glue and that's what kind of hid the stick pins and the stick pins I kind of just stuck into the chipboard so you can get a feel for that when the pin is going in and I stuck this one in too so you can feel the, the it's going into the chipboard underneath and there's plenty of this three layers under there so you're gonna have plenty to stick these into and I made one shorter than the go in one shorter than the other and you're going to have these funky little beads in your kit and three pearls. And the three pearls are going to sit on the outside here and the funky little beads are going to be glued. You can glue them either with zip dry or with, um, with your hot glue. And I just glued one little section there. And I put two under the bird wings. So one going in one direction, one going in the other. And then I glued three more under the flowers right in there. So I kind of gave them that little, kind of like they're kind of sticking out. The 
it's hard to do with one hand. Okay, so there are the three there and the two up there. And then I'm just going to put three dots of glue on the side here for the pearls. And then you can put your twine on the back. And when I put my pearls on, you want to rotate them so that you're not you don't see the the hole where you'd be feeding thread through. Okay. Now the last thing that I did on this, I did add some stickles, and you can see the difference with the original and with this one here. That I added stickles to the the bird cage. So all along the line of the bird cage, I added stickles. I did use the blue pearl, liquid pearls, and I put dots all around the edge there. And then the pink li liquid pearls, you can see I had some dots of um, hair in there on the, on the tag as well. And then there is your tie in the back that I already showed you how to do. You can add that on as well. And that's it. This tag is just about all done. Very cool. That one went together pretty quick. Alright folks, that one's all set and you can come back for number four.